All right, I'm gonna show you where to hook up this uh, Chrysler 12 plus eight universal adapter cable. This is needed on uh, some newer vehicles as a security bypass if you want to use your, uh, your VPeak or uh, any other sort of computer to uh, adjust the uh, settings in the, the, the ECU, the car's computer. Um, so you can't do it just by plugging this into the OBD port. Uh, you can't write to it. You can only read. So you can't reset codes. You can't do any adaptation. In my case, I'm trying to get it so that I can, you know, tow the, tra get the trailer lights working on here. Uh, apologies for the cat screaming. Um, so the wiring I found was all under here. I installed the hitch. Uh, the wiring was under here. It just wasn't connected. So I bought the connector and I'm trying to wire it up. But uh, Chrysler does this amazing thing where they don't allow you to write to the computer and they put the trailer settings in the computer So you just have to activate the lights um, But I wasn't able to do it with just my normal OBT2 which I can do everything on my 2011 uh, Wrangler with but not on this 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee So I'm going to show you where to hook this up because I couldn't find any good instructions um, Online for where to actually connect this so I looked all over the place Got some info from online, but mostly just looked around and it's actually, it's under, this is a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. So I pulled this off. It's just a, a couple of these little plastic um, nubs. There's three of them on there. So you just pull those down. This is connected to those cables. It's just lights, it's two little lights. So once that's out of the way, you probably don't even need to do that, but it makes it a little easier. So once that's out of the way, a whole tangle of uh, wires up here. Um, the engineers would probably hate me to call it a tangle, but it's a tangle of wires. Um, and the security module, I've tried a couple of them. I can tell you which ones it's not, um, but I can tell you for sure that it is this one. So you see that there? So we are, so there's those two little cables there. So we are under the passenger side. We've removed that facade. And we're going up right under here. And it's these two cables. Come on, camera. Let's get it together, iPhone 10. It's these two little cables. So let me see if I can get a little more light up in here. So you see these two? So then all we're going to do is we're just going to reach up here and there's two little clips on the back. There's a little clip on the back of this one. Boy, this thing is really in the way, isn't it? There's little clips on here and they pull down real easy. So you just undo those clips with your finger, pull it down. And now you can see that I've disconnected those two. God, this iPhone is not good at focusing. You can see that I've disconnected those. So then all you're gonna do is you're gonna plug them into this. Come on, there we go. And so there's a bigger one and a smaller one. And if you look up here, which you can't really see, there's a bigger one and a smaller one. I gotta set this down. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing right now, but I'm just plugging the small one in. So the small one, click, big one into the big one. They do align a specific way. Listen, click, okay. All right, so then we're hooked up there. And then you just take this and you plug it into the end. So we'll just plug that guy in right there. You'll know it's working if the light turns on. And then, um, then what you're going to do is you are going to go into your uh, adaptation tool and you can just go in there and adjust the settings, uh, put some screenshots up of that. All right, so with the security bypass module, I disconnected it, uh, reconnected the cables back into their original spots. Uh, I need to put that piece on still. I turned on the hazards to test. I'm all hooked up down here. I still need to mount that, but got the wiring hooked up. Look at that. This was just, this did nothing before. It had to be activated within the, 
the computer in the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. The wiring was already there. It didn't have a tow package. So when these guys put on a tow package, all they're doing is installing the trailer hitch, which you can get from eTrailer.com and install easily yourself with a torque wrench. And the wiring's already there. So all they're doing at the dealership is plugging this in, which I bought from Amazon for, I don't know, 20 bucks. All they're doing is plugging that in and then updating the settings in the computer because the wiring is all there already. You just need that cable to get it done. All right, hope this video was helpful. It was a fun project to figure out and a way to save a bunch of hassle at the dealership and a bunch of money. Later.